just got to Black Rose. It looks extremely packed. There was like barely a spot in the parking lot. So I'm gonna go in, wish me luck. Oh, look at this funny little thing. There is a lot of Christmas going on here. Of course, this giant celluloid stuffed Santa is the first thing I noticed. $69 and 20% off for that size is more than fair. It's a really good deal. This guy's pretty great, except now I'm seeing he's got a little cracking in his face. That happens with those guys. These are fun. They're made out of uh, bottles, usually, with the plastic faces. Let's see what else. Oh, we got a Woolly Kins. And again, um, these Woolikins do not sell as well as uh, some of the other rubber face ones. 42, even with 20% off is, uh, I'm sorry to say, a little bit overpriced for that guy. This guy's pretty fun. 49 firm. Oh, look at these plastic face clowns. I love these. $12, 20%. I think that's a really fair price. I think I'm gonna leave those behind today. I've had those a few times and honestly, a lot of the times they take some time to sell. Hey, look, Holt Howard, the money mitts, $8. Is there a discount here? I had these um, a few times. That's actually a pretty fair price and I really like these old tin ashtrays with the uh, Santa faces on it. You know, I've seen these in other versions, and I like the other versions better. $8 is definitely fair. The fact that it's in its original packaging could make a couple dollars off of it. They don't sell for as much as you would think. I kind of like this hobbyist whale. It's kind of fun. Ten bucks. Cute. A little too close for me. I probably would sell that for like 14 which really is like 12 after fees. Whoa, but look at this one. This one almost looks Italian. Oh, it's signed 1978. Wow, that's really quite spectacular. Hey, these are kind of hard to find. And it's the whole set of three. I feel like there's normally four in this set though. Like cottage cheese jars or something, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at this guy, 22. Lego Japan, it's a really good price. See, now I left uh, those ones that had been modified at Black Rose. Um, this is like really $20 after. Uh, they'll probably do 10% if I pay cash. I might actually throw him in there. He's pretty great. And they are really hard to find, especially in this good condition. Yeah, these are the ones I was talking about at Black Rose that had been modified under their, uh, whatever they were wearing, their funny outfits. I'm still really into this, uh, cow set. This is kind of pretty too, that satin painted glass lamp. Which are these tested works? 25 for the pair, that's super cheap. Oh, look at these guys, how cute. One, they have little chips on them though. Little Santa candy container, 14. I feel like I'm missing something. Everything's uh, pretty much completely different than when I was here last, which is nice. Hmm. They always have a random array of stuff, but oh, I love these. I had one of these last year. Wow, he's in great condition. These are kind of hard to find. $18 is around what I sold mine for last year though. Lots of great ornaments. Of course, uh, this is the most noticeable one. This is a really great seller. 24 is about what I get for these after fees, though. I usually sell these for um, about 30. So I'm gonna pass on that one today. Look at this glass ornament, milk glass. It's really pretty. Let's see what else we got. These birds are kind of neat. Made in Japan. How much are these? I don't see a price tag on this bag. What about this one? These ones are a little bit larger. Very neat. $20. Oh, look at these snowmen. How fun. 20 bucks. That's, a, that's pretty fair. I mean, especially for a collector. 
for me for resale i'm pretty stingy especially uh oh my gosh how fun i love these butterflies <sighs> this is making me crazy lots of christmas these are adorable too they got the sticker eyes though i feel like they fall off pretty easily wait is it nine for each or oh i guess it's 9 50 each i'm gonna leave that what is this guy oh look at these how funny <laughs> 23 dollars hold howard christmas yarvies um hold on is it for the pair i mean this is kind of confusing huh 23 i guess it's for each i've never seen that before that's really neat what is this oh it's ceramic i thought it was like a satin button Ooh, santa pigs oh my gosh i think these are hold howard too oh, gosh this is so frustrating i wish i could uh do something 23 is too high for a resale unfortunately but it's not every day you get to see all these goodies Let's see what else is going on over here the little wood ornaments those are sweet 14 that's fair and this candy container he's kind of fabulous oh my gosh there's more there's more here's the napco fuzzy ceramic now unfortunately uh he is broken on the sides of his beards otherwise at 37.50 he'd be a really good price here's another one of these holt howard guys and i love anything fuzzy oh he's got the jingle bell 25 all right i need to move on from this booth it's got really great stuff for a collector but i am not collecting today i am buying to resell oh my gosh oh. <laughs> look at this cute little doll oh she's kind of grand Does she have a maker looks like hong kong maybe can't make out what that says i'll have to put my camera down and get a better look kind of want to get her five dollars that's a really fair price I'm on the fence. Should I get her? She's kind of cute. Eh, I'm gonna throw her in the basket and see how I feel at the end. Okay, behind the scenes, it's really crazy in here. What are these? They're definitely new. Onion. How funny. Do they have a tag? I'm so confused by these. And the tomato head. I feel like uh, they're probably mass produced. This is the booth I've been most excited to get to. I remember last Christmas they had out so much fun stuff. Like uh, this guy, how much are you, $7? Are you serious? He's adorable. I haven't uh, seen this exact one before. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this up. Oh, and we have a Santa napkin holder. How much are you? $13, that's a pretty good price. I feel like these usually sell for uh, about eight, 18 to 22. Um, it's a little bit more on the common side. It's definitely not easy to find them at uh, a resale value though. The boots, not my favorite. Here's those Napco Fuzzy Christmas Girl candle holders, $20. I'm gonna leave those. I don't have much luck with those. McCoy mug, 10 bucks. That is McCoy, right? Actually, yeah, I think it is. Wait a minute. What do we have here? It's a little Hold Howard choir boy. $15. That's a really fair price. Um, I am going to go ahead and leave him, though. I wish it was one of the angels, although I haven't really seen the choir boy much. Hmm. I'm going to put him back. It's a little more than I'd like to spend up front for that. Ooh, what happened to the tag? Man, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> just kidding. Well, I was just putting things on the hold shelf when I realized his hand is busted, but honestly, for $7, I'm still gonna grab it. I think he's just so fun. 
This is still the most like Kate thing ever. <laughs> I love these piggy banks. $16, if I was buying it for myself, I wouldn't think twice. I have a couple similar, so I'm gonna leave that. And uh, But man, if it was a little bit less, I would probably buy it for resale too. It's just so spectacular. Couldn't help but notice this little paper mache bird. Unfortunately, it's got a little too much damage for me to uh, feel comfortable reselling it. It is absolutely adorable though. These are kind of hard to find. This booth switched around a lot. There's a lot of uh, reproduction and newer stuff in here. This one's older. Little rhinestone-eyed cat. I've had this one a few times. It doesn't sell for much. Whereas I'm not the biggest Homeco fan, I kind of love the snails, especially it's the whole set of three for $9. That's really cheap. Um, I've sold them a couple times. I usually sell them between 10 and 13 each, depending on condition. These all look to be pretty good, but I'm going to hold off because I've been kind of bashing on Homeco recently and I don't want to, um, what's it called? Contradict myself. Random little Josef Originals mouse hiding back here. What's that? Does that say three dollars? Is he broken? What's he got? He got a little. Oh, let me focus here. Ah, yeah, he's kind of cute for three bucks. I mean, it's in good condition. He's got a little ball of yarn. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up too. It would be weird if I didn't. All right, I'm just kind of doing one last look. See? Oh, these guys. 16 for the pair they are not the original ones they um the original ones would have been ceramic they were made by lefton these are kind of uh i mean they're they're more of a the other ones were ceramic and porcelain these are just kind of ceramic almost have that like composite like quality to them so since these aren't the original, I'm going to leave them back. They're not as exciting as I thought they were. They're still very cute, though. For $16, I mean, that's a fair price for a collector, but I can't do anything with that. These are kind of neat. They are they definitely are older. They're brass. I don't think I've really ever seen these before. $8. Kind of neat. So I felt a little shopped out. Uh, I was going around in circles, kind of. I've learned that when I get that way, it's just best to tap out and call it a day. So in there, I spent $28, which means I spent $99 total today, which meant I kept it under $100 yet again.